Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you guys? Hello, good evening. Hey, very nice. How was your day at the office? Um, so, uh, so this was complicated. There are ch there are check many many report. We're checking many reports. Yeah. Okay. But we're yeah we're in the middle of the month. Is that unusual? Elvin. Excuse me? Is that unusual? No, no, it's no, it is unusual. Um, uh, there are uh, a new project. Um, uh, today I check uh, with my my boss. Uh, what is the the situation actual there for each uh, project? What is the current where? Okay. The best way to yeah. say that, Elvin, is today I checked with my boss, where are we standing with some yeah. projects? Where are we standing with some projects? It's the most natural way. Good. Awesome. How did it go? Come on, Tafa. How did it, how did it go? Uh, I think uh, was better because uh, for the project uh, is is it is um, it is uh, complete uh, as the plan. Okay, project is completed as the plan. Great. Okay, thank you. Okay, guys, you still have two you minutes. Have problem in your connection. Why? Why? Can you hear me? I don't listen clear. Yeah, but uh, no, it's continue the connection. The connection is not continuous. Can you hear me? One, two, three. One, two, three. I okay. think it's better. Okay. Now. Good. Everybody, you, it's time to start the class, so you may do it. You're still missing two minutes. You can have a conversation about anything you want. Okay, everybody. Okay, no. Okay. Let me start with the attendance then. If you don't want to speak tonight, you're here to speak. Don't forget that. Ada Susena Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank you. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. There he is. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. <laughs> Carolina Yvette Romero Avelino. Carolina Yvette is just connecting, right? Hello. Yes, I'm here. Thank you. Claudia Maricena Solano Crespin. Elvin Arcides Guizabal Martinez. Present. 
Fátima Ifigenia López Ramos. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present. Juan Marcos Guzmán. Carla Yanet, Amaya Herrera. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdez. Present. Thank you. Carla is just joining right now. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante, you're driving. Don't Present, worry. teacher. I got you. Okay, thank you, thank you teacher. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Excellent. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Okay. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Thank you. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Not here yet. Okay, so today is Monday. September 13th, and guess what? Today is our 18th conference, so we're just missing seven days. Seven days. Okay, and we're done with this module with Intermediate 2. Then we're going to start with Intermediate 3. Okay. So, how do we do this? Let's start refreshing. What was the last topic we talked about? We talked about designing the manufacturing process of a new product, right? Okay, let's do something guys. Do you remember the use of will and going to? Yeah. Yeah, it's so simple, right? Okay, help me. Now, of course, will is not for, I mean, it's just for future plans. You are not sure if that's gonna happen, but it's very simple, right? So what do we need? Help me, what do we need for a sentence in affirmative with will? Subject. Subject, Subject and then? Auxiliary. Will. Okay, the auxiliary, which in this case okay. is will. Very good, and then? Clear. How? Infinitive form. Infinitive form, that is right. Okay, and then? Complement. Complement, that's it. Okay, examples? I will get Bitcoin. <laughs> okay. I will get the Bitcoin. Okay, I'll get the Bitcoin up. I'll get the Bitcoin up. Okay, very good. Another example. Come on. Johnny. I will buy food. Let's use she. Okay, she will buy fruit. So simple. Uh huh. One more. Ada. He will mm -hmm. drive a car every day. Roberto will drive a car every day. Okay. Simple. Roberto will drive a car every day. Okay. <clears throat> simple. He, she, it. Okay. Very good. That's positive. Let's go with negative. Uh huh? What do we need for a Subject. negative sentence? Subject. Uh huh. Class. Will. Yes. You can say want or will not. Okay. Plus the verb in the space form. Okay. And then what? Complement. Plus complement. Complement. That's it. 
simple. Okay. Shoot me. Shoot me, everybody. Carla Janet. I will not work tomorrow. Okay. Sounds better. I won't work tomorrow. Okay. Carla? I won't travel to Guatemala. Okay. Simple. You got it, Elvin? Uh, she won't go to that place. She won't go to that place. Listen, she won't go to that place. She won't go to that place. That's too, she's too fancy. She won't go to that place. Easy. You got it? This is so simple, guys. Okay. And for a question, you just bring the auxiliary to the front, right? So you say will, subject, okay, verb, again, in its base form, and then the complement, right? What else? <laughs> question mark. Don't forget the question mark. Very important. Okay. So, maybe a question. Come on, Johnny. Will you play soccer tomorrow? Huh. Okay. Will you play soccer tomorrow? Another one. Sandra. Then I go with Miguel. You better, Miguel? Yeah. Okay. Good. Better. You. Awesome. Go ahead, Sandra. Will you drive a car green? Okay. Will in the you morning? drive a green car? A green car in the morning. Got it. Would you drive a green car in the morning? Miguel, if you may? Yeah. Change, change the subject. Will, will she visit the doctor on Friday? Excellent. Mm -hmm. That's it. There you go. Take a screenshot if you want. This is future using will. Okay. Questions? No, easy, right? Where will now with WH, you just add the WH at the beginning. Where will you go? What will you do? Okay. What will you eat? Where will you sleep? Why Teacher. won't you why won't you speak? <laughs> yes, Teacher, I have uh -huh. a question. Yes, Carol. Uh, it's, cor it's correct to say, will you take the dinner? Is it correct to say, will you take the dinner? Yes. Yes. Pero, ojo con el contexto. Mm -hmm. ¿Tomarás la cena? Es decir, ¿la vas a tomar? Te están invitando a una cena. ¿La vas a tomar? Or, will you have dinner? O vas a cenar. Cenarás, perdón. Estamos mal los dos. Cenarás. Will you have dinner? Ah, oh, okay. Will you have dinner? Ajá. Uh -huh. Will you take the dinner? Sería, uh, ¿tomarás la cena? Vas a, es decir, la vas a tomar como te están invitando, la tomarás. Mm, okay. okay, thank you. Got it. Okay, any other question? No questions? What will you eat? Who will you eat with? When will it happen? Where will you drive? When will you go there? Okay, no questions. Let's go with the future really quick. Can somebody give me examples? I don't want to write. I feel lazy right now. Give me examples with going to. I'm going to work tomorrow. You got it. I am going to work tomorrow. Arita. Mm. I'm going to... 
I study English. I'm going to study English. Perfect. Okay. Someone else? She, he, it. Alan, welcome. I'm going to visit my parents this weekend. Excellent. Let's change the subject. Let's go with negatives. Uh, Barcelona is saying, yeah. it's not going to win tomorrow. Barcelona isn't going to win tomorrow. <laughs> Alan is upset for some reason. I don't know why. Okay. Very good. Miriam. Hello. William, you're so quiet. Negative, negative. Um, Roberto is, isn't going to Guatemala. Roberto isn't going to Guatemala. Very good. Questions with going to Carla. And I move the auxiliary to the beginning. Um, are you going to, are you going to sleep? Are you going to sleep? Listen, are you going to sleep? Are you going to sleep? Yeah. Are you going to sleep? Okay. Don't forget the auxiliary. Excellent. Okay. One more, Sandrita. Another question with going to. Sorry, are you, are you going to buy food Mexican? Mm -hmm. Are you going to buy Mexican food? Mexican food, okay. Todo lo que calificaba antes del nombre. Ojo que todos, a varios les está pasando eso, eh. Ojo con eso. ¿Qué, qué es el, lo que califica? Siempre háganse esa pregunta, okay? ¿Cuál es el nombre? ¿Qué, qué es lo otro? Okay. Good. Okay, so what's the plan? Let's talk about future, okay? Let's talk about future. How do we do it? Can you make me an open question in the future? Mm -hmm. What are question. your plans for the future? What are your plans? Oh my God, that's really wide. It's a really <laughs> wide question. What are your plans for the future? I like that. Okay, I'll pay attention. Well, I'm about to become 40. I'm about to become 40 very soon. So I'm planning, uh oh, I use present progressive. <gasps> okay, I'm planning to be underweight. By January, I'm going to have the six pack. I'm going to have the six pack. Um, I will be. 170 pounds. I will be 170 pounds um, by my birthday, you know, January 27th. Um, I, I'm going to have the six pack. I will be 170 pounds. And because I'm, I'm going to be very healthy, I want to be very healthy. So um, I will see my daughter, you know, on her 15th birthday or walking to the altar a church, that's a dream I have. So I have to be in good health conditions. Um, I'm going to, um, how do you say this? Restore, I'm going to restore my Volkswagen. I'm working on it. So I'm going to restore my Volkswagen and drive it. You know, whenever it's restored, I'm going to love it. And that's it. That's, those are some plans I have for the future. What about you? What are your plans for the future? This is a very wide question. You can use will, you can use going to. It's very simple. We only have 10 minutes. Got it? Got it. Have a conversation, please. You're here to speak. En serio, señores. Ya casi terminamos y casi no me están hablando. Necesitamos platicar, por favor. Let's go. Cheer up.
Okay, what are your plans for the future? Uh, in my case, uh, I, I I going to visit different country when my children uh, is grow is is going to grow um, I I will uh, continue a study uh, because I I I need to speak English <laughs> um, I will uh, grow up, uh, grow out in my company in another position. Um, I'm going to I'm going to um, visit uh, my family in Guatemala. Um, I don't know what why what what is my find the future for me I so okay. what are your plans hello. for the future hello <laughs> hello Did you hear me? And can you hear me? I can hear you. Mm, yeah. Uh, okay. Mm, again, Sandra. Hello. Okay. Hi, Alexander. <laughs> I don't tell me where are you? Oh, so, so, so. Oh. Uh -huh. Yo, yo, wait, 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 This is so crazy. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, Tell me, Alexander, what are your plans for the future? Okay. Well, I am, my plan for the future, first of all, uh, I would like to to get my own house and I will go into, I will get my own car because right now I have a motorcycle. Mm. And I will, I have a bike, right? And I will buy a lot of um, clothes and shoes you know because um i like to spend money in that kind of things and i'm going to uh restore my i am going to cover i'm going to back to my to my stories i can say that i'm going to go back to, yeah i'm going to go back to my studies at the university because I will finish my career. Oh, so you're going yeah. to restart. I'm going to restart my Start. studies. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I will, or, or, or yeah, or I would like to finish my career. Okay. What are you going to do to achieve that? Well, when I, when I am get, when I when I will get no. 
Well, if I am able to finish my career, I'm going to get a better job in a higher position in my company because I would like to work uh, as um, IT, right? Mm. Okay. What are you currently? Yeah. What are you currently doing to achieve that? Well, actually, I'm trying to. Or currently, I am trying to to learn about system programs, uh, some courses about it, in order to uh, don't lose or don't lose my knowledge about it. Okay. Try to refresh. How often are you attending to this course? And, and every now and then actually because i have enough time i don't have enough time repeat i don't have yeah. enough time i i don't have what could you repeat again i don't have enough I don't time have enough time i don't have enough i don't have an f no no i don't have an, enough time come on i don't have enough no. time no I don't have. I don't have. I, I don't have enough time. I don't have. <laughs> yeah, there yeah, you go. I don't have enough time. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Make the question to Rene. You, Rene, what are you planning? For? Hi, teacher. Hey. What? what uh, repeat. Uh, yes. Going to. I will get. Mm. I'll get, a, I'll get a better job. Where? Yeah. That's my dream. Baby. Okay, another baby? Yes. So you could say, I'm going to be a father again. I'm... Okay. Yeah. I'm going to be a father. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, someone else? <laughs> William, you, you already spoken? Everybody spoke already? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. Let's go then. Okay, okay, I think we're ready. Let's keep going. I need two volunteers. <laughs> Jenny, are you singing? <laughs> what are you doing? You have a volunteer. Come on. Okay, Johnny, Johnny, make the question to one of your classmates. What are your plans for the future? Uh, whatever question. No, no, no. The question is, what are your plans for the future? Make the question to um, one of your classmates. Plans. No, no, no. Make the question to one of your classmates. Ask one of your classmates. Okay. What? Um, what? Uh, whatever. No. For example, you could say, Fernando, what are your plans for the future? Okay, Fernando, what are your plans for the future? That was an example, but okay. <laughs> ah, well, um, I hope I will, I will buy a house. 
Hopefully, I, hopefully I will buy a house. Hopefully, I I will to to mm. study another career. I will study. I will study another career. I will learn more about my my knowledge and uh, for example, I I will uh, take uh, some course or trainings courses or trainings. Uh, no, that's it. All. That is my, my expectation Wonder. for the future. <laughs> In a long plazo. Area. A long. How, how do you say In, a long plazo? Uh -huh. How do you say in a long plazo? Someone, someone? No? In large, in large uh -huh. terms. I'll say. Excellent. You oh, know man. it. In long term. Ah, long term. In, in, large. Yeah. in, in long, long term. term that, those are my plans in long term. Or yeah. these are these are my long term plans. Ah, and short and short terms, I, I, I will rest uh, on Wednesday. That is uh, September fifteen. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. I will to watch TV series with my wife every, all day. I will uh, too. 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 I will watch. Uh, to be serious with my wife, I I will play soccer uh, on Sunday. Huh. Okay, that's better. I will play. Se me va a el tú, yeah, be careful with the preposition. Pero porque estamos bien acostumbrados a ocupar un montón de tú, entonces se le va uno que no está hablando mm -hmm. futuro. Excellent. Make the question to someone else. Okay. Uh, uh, Miguel. What are your plans for the future? Miguel, are you here? Yeah, Miguel was Yes, here. yes, I'm sorry, my microphone. <laughs> okay, well, first I want to finish this English model and learn very well. <laughs> this is my main objective. And I'm going to finish my studies, my studies. And I know I want to travel to Madrid and watch to Real Madrid soccer game in the new stadium. <laughs> um, I'm going to visit my brothers in the United States. And I will buy the car and the house of my dream on one day. Um, I don't know of that, of that I am sure I believe that with before I can ship it. And I want to see my son play soccer in a great team. In a great team soccer. I don't know. <laughs> soccer team. Soccer team. Soccer team. Yeah. And it. Excellent. Okay. Good. Um, so, dejaría de ser profesor si no hago algo por corregir sus áreas de oportunidad. Miguel Ángel, vamos a aplicar esto contigo, eh, con ustedes, te vamos a ver, Fernando. Necesito que hagas eso, eh, corregir el tú eh, antes sí, de sí. un verbo o el for. Sí, sí, cuando Entonces, está de tarea, hacerte cinco oraciones aplicando for seguido de un verbo. Ok. okay y tú seguido de un verbo, o sea, cinco y cinco. Ok. okay eh, Sandra, igual, vamos a aplicar... Eh, calificar un nombre, ¿cómo lo podríamos hacer? Hacer cinco oraciones nada más aplicando un calificativo a un nombre. Ok. okay. Um, I like, tan simple como, I like the greenhouse. Mm -hmm. I like the greenhouse. Eh, si me equivoco diría, I like the house green. Ok. Mm -hmm. cinco, cinco ejemplos. Y Miguel Ángel, haceme cinco oraciones con lo que te acabo de poner en el chat y todo es recordatorio, ¿eh? Empecemos a aplicar los nombres posesivos. I will buy my dreams house. La casa de mis sueños. Yeah, my dreams house. Okay. Try to make five sentences using possessive nouns, Michael. Okay. Good. So, up, up next, we have a conversation on your book. This is page 27. Now listen to these examples of a new 
way of speaking. This is not purely grammar. This is just another way of being polite. I wonder if you received a copy of the analysis for the production process. I have, thank you. I have, thank you, Lucia. Perfect. I like us to revise the steps to verify that we are ready to start producing our new shampoo. Right. I like to know if the quality control step should be repeated once the product is finished. Finished. Yeah. That's a good point, Greg. Martha. Will you mind telling us if the cost to run a second quality control will go very high? Of course, let me revise the files. Greg, could you find out if the production manager is around? I need him to clarify what the revision step is about. Okay. Creo que medio revisamos esto el viernes, ¿verdad? Pero no entramos en lleno en la gramática que está involucrada acá. Se los medio expliqué, right? So we're going to see it today. We're going to do a lot of examples and make sure we understand. Vamos a aprender cómo no ser pesados. Ok. Y en lugar de, de decir... En lugar de decir, por ejemplo, did you re receive the copy of the analysis for the production process? Okay, ser, suena pesado. Did you receive the copy? Mm. Okay, I wonder if you received the copy. Sounds better, right? So let's practice this conversation with your classmates. Repeat as many times as possible. Hey, do you have questions? Do you have questions? Any new words? Alguna palabra nueva? Any new word? What would you do if I said oh, It's okay, teacher. Sure. Okay. Good. Yeah, I have a question. Yeah. And right, and red said, right, I like to know. I is the contraction is uh -huh. I would okay. that's right I would like to know mm -hmm. got it Jenny okay. and yes you say I've I've mm -hmm. okay so let's practice repeating. Luego los voy a traer de regreso y los voy a dividir de nuevo para que cambiemos parejas, ¿ok? Please practice read multiple times. You need to practice. Let's go. Let's go, Miriam. Okay. Let me share my screen with the conversation. Okay. Let me give me okay. a minute. Where is the man? The manual. Okay. What page, what page is? What is the page? 27. 27. I am. Me pasé. Yeah. Okay. Okay, estamos. Here we are. Hey, I start. Who with me? Me. Okay. Uh, I wonder if you receive a copy of the. Ah, you receive a copy. Se escucha muy pesado. Escuché que dijo. Or I repeat uh, all these sentences. 
I wonder if you receive a copy of the analysis for the production process. I have, thank you. I have, que, que, ah, yo siempre, ¿quién va a ser Gret? Es que son Marta, ajá. Who is Gret? Me. I'll be, okay. Me. Okay. I start again. Okay. Uh, I wonder if you receive a copy of the analysis for the production process. I have, thank you. I have, thank you, Lucy. Perfect. I'd like up to revise the step to verify that we are ready to start producing our new shampoo. Right. I would like to know if the quality control steps should be repeated once the product is finished. Ah, yeah, that's a good point, Craig. Marta, would you mind telling us if the cost to, the, to run a second quality control will go very high? Of course, let me revise my file. Greg, could you find out if the production manager is around? I need him to clarify what the revision step is about. Cambiemos. Okay. I, I, I am Marta. I'm Lucia. <laughs> Pero, okay. ajá, ajá. Eh, I will no, be pero, no, no, pero yo voy a hacer Greg. Are ready to start well, to start producing our new shampoo. Soy la que te va a esconder ahí. Go ahead. Right. I like more if the quality control step should be repeated when the product is finished. Yeah, that's a good point. Greg, Marta, would you mind telling us if the cost to run a second quality control will go very high? Of course, let me revise my file. Greg, could you find out if the production manager is around? I need him to. Yeah, that's a good point, Greg. Marta, would you mind telling us if the cost to run a second quality control will go very high? Of course, let me revise my files. Great. Could you find out if the production manager is around? I knew he to clarify what the revision step is, step is about. Good. Okay. okay. William. William. We're going to start. Okay. I wonder if you received a copy of the analysis for the production process. I, I have. have. Oh, ah. Sorry. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay. I have. Thank you. I have. Thank you, Lucia. Perfect. I like us to review to revise the steps to verify that we are ready to start production. Uh, producing our new shampoo. Right, I'd like to know if the quality control step should be repaired once the product is finished. Yeah, that's a good point, Greg. Marta, would you mind telling us if the cost to run a second quality control, control will go very high? Of course, let me revise my files. Oh, Greg, Greg, could you find out if the production manager is around? I need him to clarify what the revision step is about. Okay. Nice. Awesome. Good too.
Okay, let's review some little details before we do this again. Let's correct for once. Let's correct at least one, two words. Let's correct. Okay. Um, well, let's start with something easy here. Yeah. One of the main areas of improvement of this group is the ED endings. So you say received, 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 received. Okay. Let's see. Then we have revise, revise, revise. Re revise. Revise. Okay. Producing. 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 There you go. Producing. Okay. I I like. I like. Okay. I like to know if the quality control step should should be repeated. Re repeated repeated listen i'd like to know if the quality control step should be repeated once the product is finished 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 perfect you got it okay now in this sentence could you find out could you find out could you find out could you find out? Find out. Find out. Find, you find out. out. Find Could out. you find out? If the product, 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 production. The production. Suena más a o que a u. Production. Production. There you go. Hey, could you find out if the production manager is around? Manager is around. 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 Okay. I need him. I need him to clarify. To clarify. 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 What the revision step is about. What the revision step is about. It's about. Okay. Siempre que una palabra empiece con S, pensá que no hay una E ahí. Okay. Revision step. Revision step. Revision step. Revision step. Uh -uh. Revision don't, step. Mm -mm. don't make that pause. No hagas esa pausa de revision step. Mm -mm. Revision step. Revision step. Mm -mm. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> saying a step. Mm -mm. Revision step. Revision, revision, revision step. Revision, revision step. Good, good job. Revision step. Ojo, eh. Mira, no es por molestarte, es mi trabajo, pero más que mi trabajo, quiero que sones como americano o americana, ¿ok? Y, por ejemplo, esto de production, vas a decir, ahí dice production, y yo he escuchado que los gringos suenan diferente. Créeme, ya cuando estás hablando con la lengua suelta, ni cuenta te vas a dar y vas a decir production. Production, production, look, production, look. production, so production, production, production. Yes, a shon ya no va a sonar a chon, sino que shen, 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 production, production. Bien suave, bien fancy, ok, que es como hablan los americanos en, ya en su cotidiano, no sé. Ok, pay attention whenever you speak to an American. So let's do it again. Please make sure you repeat, repeat, repeat. Where is this guy? Okay, let's go. Good. Hello, Rene. Hello, Azim. Hello, Hello. Stella. Okay. Hello. Uh, there are three persons. Uh, me, Lucy. Who Marta and who Greg? Okay. Okay. Okay, going to start. Who is who is Marta? To you? I mean, uh, Greg, uh, Isela Marta, you are here. Okay. 
Miss Sarah, you listen to me? Yeah. Maybe. Oh. Okay. Um, Sorry, I was trying to, to share the, the picture. Okay. Don't worry. Thank you. Um, okay. Me, Lucy? Marta, who? Yeah. Uh, Isela, Marta, and me, Rep. After change. Okay. okay, I'm going to start. I I wonder if you received a copy of the analysis for the production process. I have, thank you. I have, thank you, Lucia. Perfect. I like used to revise to, to the step to very be, very free that we are ready to start producing our new shampoo. Verify. Hi. I Verify. Like to, Verify. I like to know if the quality control it should be provided. Of the cost from a second quality control, which you bear it height? Of course. Let me revise my files. Great. Could you find out the production manager is around? I need how to clarify what the revision step is about. Okay. okay. Star William. <laughs> William Star. William. Okay. I wonder if you received a copy of the analysis for the for new shampoo. Great. Great. I'm great. Yeah. <laughs> I'm <sorry>. Yes. <laughs> right. Uh, I'd like to know if the quality control step should be repeated once the product is finished. 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 Yeah, that's a good point. Great. Marta, would you mind telling us telling us? Telling us if the cost to run a second quality control will be very high. Marta. <laughs> of course, let me revise my fields, my files. Great. Could you find out the production manager is around? I need him to clarify what the revision is Steps about. Clarify, clarify. Verify, verify. No, I'm um, Lucia. Yes. I'm um, Marta. Okay. I wonder if you receive a copy of the analysis for the production process. I have. Thank you. I have. Thank you, Lucia. Perfect. I would like us to revise the steps to verify that we are ready to start producing our new shampoo. Right. I'd like to know if the quality control step told be repaired once so the product is finished. Yeah, that's a good point, Greg. Marta, would you mind telling us Telling us if the cost to run a second quality control will go very high? Of course. Let me revise my files. Fred, could you find out if the production manager is around? I need him to clarify what the revision steps is about. Okay. Okay. I am Lucia. Okay. I wonder if
okay, really quick, I need two volunteers. Three volunteers. Yep, three volunteers. Me, Fernando, one. Okay. Me, Fernando, Lucia, someone else? Marta. Great. Okay, one, two, three, action. Okay. I wonder if you received a copy of the analysis for the production process. I have, thank you. I have, thank you, Lucia. Perfect. I'd like to revise the step to verify that we are ready to start producing our new shampoo. Right. I'd like to know if the qualified control step should be repeated once the product is finished. Yeah, that's a good point, Greg. Marta, would you mind telling us if the cost to the wrong a second quality control will go very high? Of course. Let me revise my files. Greg, could you find out if the production manager is around? I need him to clarify what the revision step is about. <laughs> good, very good. Hey, Lucia, um, I like us. You ate the word. Yes, I, I like us like to revise. Us. Yeah, you, okay. no le dices al Creo que lo salte. Uh -huh. yeah, no saltes, uh -huh. I like us to revise the steps to verify. 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 Verify, 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 very good. Verify. And here you add the, the cost mm. to the run a second, huh? mm. cost to run, the cost to run a second quality control will go very high. Okay, and by the way, again, you say him. Him. I need him to clarify. I him. him. I need him. You got it. I need him to clarify. Excellent. Okay, three, three more volunteers. Thank you, Carolina. <laughs> Okay, Carolina, René, and I heard another man voice, but I, I didn't see your face. Jose. William, no, who? Jose, Jose, good, great, okay. One, two, three, action. I wonder if you receive a copy of the analysis for the production process. I have, thank you. I have a thank you, Lucia. Perfect. I like us to revise the steps to verify that we are ready to start producing our new shampoo. Right. I like to know if the quality control step should be repeated once the product is the finish. Yeah, that's a good point, Greg. Marta, would you mind telling us if the cost to run a second quality control will, will go very high? Of course. Let me revise my file. Greg, could you find out if the production manager is around? I need him to clarify what the revision step is about. Good, very good. Of course. Of course. Of course. Good, Rene. Of course. Jose, finished. 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 Mm -hmm. Again, finish. Finish. Finished. You got it? Finished. Ok, recuerden que lo, los sonidos, excelente, very good, José. Los sonidos finales son importantísimos. Entonces, si lo notan, cuando le digo a José, finish, extende el sonido final de la palabra en su forma base, del verbo en su forma base, ok, finish, miss, kiss, fix, ok, y luego solo agregas el sonido del, del ED. El sonido de ED al final, se los explica en su ocasión. Okay, fixed, finished, missed, kissed. Ok. Lo siguiente sería saved, saved, hog, hogged, hogged, and so on. Ok. Just check that out. Let's get together again and discuss these questions with a partner. What is the new product Lucia, Martha, and Greg are discussing about? 
what are two steps of the production process they mentioned in their conversation, the conversation. What did Greg suggest about the production process? So you will only have five minutes for these steps. It's very simple. But before, it's nine o'clock. It's nine o'clock on Monday. Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Hello. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Alan Christopher Abreu Brizuela. I'm present. Excellent. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. I'm here. Claudia Maricela Solano Crespin. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martinez. Present. Fátima Ifegenia López Ramos. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. José Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Present. Juan Marcos Guzmán. Carla Yanet Amaya Herrera. Present teacher. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present. Roberto Luis Umeño Gallana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. And Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Not here yet. Okay. Okay, let's Can answer. What? Who? Ada, I, I said, Ada, you are number one on the list. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, guys, let's reply to these three simple questions really quick. You only have six minutes to reply to these questions. Have a discussion to answer the questions. Come on, you can do it. He said, let's go, Roberto, let's go. Hmm. Okay. okay, repeat with me, Yoni. All by myself. Ah. <laughs> I already shared uh, the picture. Okay, good. Go ahead, guys. What is the new product? What is the new product Lucia, Martha, and Beth are discussing about? <laughs> Who is going to answer that question? Uh-huh. The product 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 process. Yeah, but but I'm asking you guys, what is the new product Lucia and Martha and Greg are discussing about? We already have that answer in the in the other picture. Shampoo. Yes. For new shampoo. Correct. Okay, and the other question. Is what 
what are two steps of the production process they mention they mention it yeah that's a good point great marta would you mind turning up with the coast coast to run a second quality control uh-huh <laughs> Quality control. Quality control. I don't know and why they, they are want to run two quality control. Maybe they are not sure that the product is good for the for the mankind. Could you find out the production manager is around? Well, Mm. Only two steps. Quality control and cost to run a second quality control. Control quality. Right. You can go now, but you can go. I need it. I need it. Cost to run, cost to run a second quality control will go very high. No, uh huh. The cost, the cost to run a second quality control. And the last question. What did Greg suggest about the production process? Greg. Greg. Clarify. Want to repeat. One, uh -huh. Should be repeated. If the quality control step should be repeated once the product is finished. He suggests a second revision. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. Teacher. We have a dog. Yep. Uh, about the second question. What are two steps of the production uh -huh. process they mentioned in the conversation? Two step of the two steps of the production process. And we were talking about quality control, but mm -hmm. second is the same quality control. Because then, Lucia or Greg ask for clarify the step. Revision uh, step. Revision. Oh, uh, yes. Revision yeah, step. That, I will say so, yeah. There's some analysis for the production process, but that's not it. Uh -huh. Quality control twice. Yes. Quality control. Yeah, that's one of them. But the second one, definitely, the second one is the revision step. Yes. Good, good. But in the third questions, you mentioned uh, what suggests. 
in this case is revision of the right? Yes, 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 if the quality control step should be repeated mm -hmm. once the product is finished. So yes, he's suggesting the revision step. Yeah. Yeah, he's suggesting the revision step as well. But he's suggesting, uh, he's wondering if the revisions, um, if the quality will take place, the quality control will take place after, once the product is finished. Yeah. Yeah, I got your point. Okay. So you're done. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Give me a give me a minute. The yeah. last for me. No. Yes. Oh yeah. Greg. Mm -hmm. Ready to jobs a step should be repeated once the product is finished. The, mm -hmm. the number three. Ah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Teacher, okay. I have a I, I have a question for number two. The first steps it's quality control. Yeah. Uh -huh. And the second is verify the cost to run a second quality control. Or no? I have a doubt. Hmm. Second, second quality control. Because, because and, and this, Lucia says, great, says Marta. Says? Will you, set, will you mind telling Telling, telling us if the cost to run a second quality control will go very high. Hi. For, for me, this is the second. Uh -huh. uh, um, I don't know. It's, it's how verify the quality control. Actually, it's um, the revision step. The revision steps. Okay. What is the revision step about? <clears throat> the, uh, this, uh, I don't know, the cost to run a second quality country. Yeah. That's it, you got it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's, let's take it back. Everybody has finished. Okay. Okay, so what's step number one? I mean, question number one, what is the new product Lucia, Martha, and Greg are discussing about? New shampoo. A new shampoo. What are two steps of the production process that I mentioned in the conversation? Mm -hmm. Battery control. This quality control step. Okay, and number two. The same. The, re the revision, the cost yeah. to run a second quality control. Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 Oh, no. yes. Yeah. Second quality. Second quality. Control. La B, que es la E. <laughs> ah, los leones. Ah, los leones. No, I don't know. You tell me. Uh -huh. The revision step. Mm -hmm. yes. Step, step, step by step. step. To verify. Mm -hmm. They ready to start production. Wait, but there are only, they're asking for two. The two steps. What are two steps? Oh, it doesn't say what are the two steps. It says what are two steps of the production process they mentioned in the conversation. Just two. Okay. 
So revising the quality control step should be another step. Oh. Alex second. Alexander? Yes. No. I, I, I didn't catch that word. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. Hmm. Do you think? Yeah, actually. Checking the cost. Checking the cost to run a second quality. No, that, that wouldn't be a step. That's why she's wondering if running a second quality control should be conducted, you know, if it is necessary, because every process that you, uh, every step that you take, every step you take on the production process uh, means more money, right? It means more money. If you run another test and another test and you never finish the product, that's time, that is money. Right, money. That's Pink Floyd. So you're discussing said. about the. Mm -hmm. You're discussing about the answer of the steps. Right. Yeah. Sort of. Okay. Uh, okay. N number three. What did Greg suggest about the production process? What did he suggest? Okay, just to answer the, the previous question, I think that was um, quality control step and the revision steps. Mm -hmm. And for this other one, mm -hmm. I think that he suggests to, to repeat the quality control step. Yes, once the is finished. but uh -huh, once the product <clears throat> is finished, yeah, so he wants to perform more quality tests, not just on the production of the product, but at the end, which is, you know, that's when most companies run quality controls at the end of the production chain, at the end of the production line, right, Elvin? How many times do you run um, quality controls in your plant, Elvin? Uh and the the there are uh, four four four, uh, four stages four stages yeah for for four stages um to for, check the quality for, yeah for lote for lote per, per lot per lot yeah yeah wow so you you check the but of course i mean you check the raw material, then write the um, the sewings, the sewings yeah. for each yeah. piece. Yeah, and yeah. Cost, uh, control control the customer quality and corporate quality. There are different. There are different um, quality quality checks. Quality check, correct. Quality checkpoints, we should say, okay, let's talk about how to use indirect questions. Yes, no questions. So, help me reading, René. Yeah. Will you please uh, read? Okay. Use indirect question a question in a more polite name. Oh An indirect question express design many a direct question but a dog not present question will order okay an indirect question to ask questions in a more polite manner an indirect manner, manner. uh-huh manner. manner an indirect question expresses expresses the same meaning as a direct question, but it does not present question word order. Uh -huh. Do you understand the, the, the last sentence? But it does not present question word order. In other words, 
It doesn't yeah. sound like a question. It doesn't sound like a question. Okay, esa es la, la, la diferencia. No suena a pregunta. Okay, right. Um, solo, para que nos, solo para que nos ubiquemos. A ver, Fernando, ¿ya comiste? Yes, sí. ¿Sí? Sí, ya comí. Fernando. Te miró mal, hijo. Está, ya comiste. Seguro que ya comiste. Sí, sí, ya comí. Bien raro. ¿eh? Bien directo, no, sí, bien sí. pesado. Ajá. Como que gran confianza. ¿verdad? Disculpe, Fernando. Me pregunto si usted ya comió. ¿Quién es? Mm. No, 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 no. Ya no, comí. Seguro. Aquí, bien, solito, ¿no? Bueno, <ríe> gran diferencia, ¿no? Ok. Sí. Ok. Alan, que no ha dormido. ¿Quién le hace la pregunta indirecta? Just one. Just one Hola. in Spanish. Oh me my pregunto, God. Me pregunto Ajá. si ha dormido. No, 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 no lo suficiente. Ok, ¿qué más podríamos ocupar en lugar de me pregunto si? Me, me gustaría saber si. Ajá. ¿Te importaría decirme? Ya va, ¿te importaría decirme o decirnos? Ajá. Can I use do you mind? Uh, sí, perfecto. Would you mind? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí se puede, do you mind también. Nos vamos a ocupar ahora para el ejemplo. Ahora, de una manera indirecta, eh, Ada le puede preguntar a Johnny si se ha bañado hoy. <risa> Um, y eso te, me, sonó bien sí. pesado ¿verdad? porque le puede preguntar eh, mejor, más polite más, uh, ¿qué es polite? ¿Perdón? amable, más amablemente Adita, ¿podría preguntarle, ¿podría preguntarle a Johnny si se ha bañado hoy? <risa> Ada, pregúntele Johnny en serio Johnny tomó su ducha esta mañana como todos los días. Johnny, te bañaste. Todos en, la, todos en la oficina. Así, Johnny, eh, fíjese que todos en la oficina nos preguntábamos si de casualidad usted se ha bañado hoy. No lo tomé mal. Ya me pasó una vez en un trabajo, créanme. Cuando estaba gerente, me pasó, señores. Un, un profesor llegó y yo... Y lo llame, ¿qué pasó? Como es que cuando han bebido. Ayer era viernes, hoy es sábado, me dice todavía. ¿Qué de plano? ¿Cuándo? No fue a la casa. Me... Cuando llegan como olor a alcohol, lo... que le dice, ay, tomaste, vea, con el tufo ahí. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Bien herido. Sí, entonces, fermentado. Ese es el contexto. Ya los hice reír un poquito, va, alegrense, pues va. Ahora, en ese contexto, ¿sí? ¿Nunca te ha pasado que tenés un jefe que es súper pesado? Espero que no. Y si lo has tenido, pues tranquilo, todo pasa en esta vida. Y todo se regresa. Buenos días. Todo se regresa también, no se preocupen. So, that's the context. I wonder if you received. Lo mismo con el español. Me pregunto si recibiste una copia del análisis de la del proceso de producción. Ok, and then we can compare it. Did you receive a copy of the analysis for the production process? It's too heavy, too strong. Options. These are just options you can use. I like to know. I would like to know. I would like to know. If the quality control step should be repeated once the product is finished, Compare it to, should the quality control step be repeated once the product is finished? Entonces, notice that if introduces the interact question, which will have sentence order. Ojo, hay que notar que ese if, ese condicionante, introduce la pregunta indirecta. 
y tiene un orden. Hay un orden en la oración. ¿Ok? ¿Cuál es el orden? Subject, verb, y luego cualquier helping verb. Do, does, indeed. Ok. Uh, momento. Ok. Ajá. Hay verbos auxiliares, como por ejemplo, do, does, indeed. Los que no están incluidos en las indirect questions. ¿Saben que Alguien cometió un error aquí. Me estoy haciendo bolas. The subject más verb. Pero dice, aparte, aparte. Helping verbs. Los verbos auxiliares como do, does, and did. No están incluidos en, los, en las preguntas indirectas. Si lo notan. Esto puede ser un error común. Que tú quieras incluir ese auxiliar. Porque te suena a pregunta. ¿Ok? I wonder if you do, do, I wonder if do you received a copy? No. Ok. Ya cuando estás en la manera indirecta, tenés que agregar esa partícula. I wonder if, would you mind telling us, could you find out if. Ok. Aunque suena un poco pesado, yo te recomendaría también ocupar cualquier modal. Ok. Siempre y cuando sea para preguntar algo. O sea, puedes ocupar can. Might, may. Okay. So, ojo, punctuation. A ver, hasta ahí todo bien? So far so good? Yes. Yes. This is a, this is a simple topic, actually. It's not very difficult. Okay. Okay. So, tenés esas cuatro opciones. Hay que hallarle sentido a eso. Okay, punctuation. When the introductory segment is a phrase, the resulting statement with the introductory question will take a period. Another question mark at the end. Ojo. Ah, okay. Mire usted, pues. Aquí sí hay una question mark. Okay, aquí también. Huh. Otra vez, cuando la frase introductoria, el segmento, el frase de la frase introductoria es una frase, ¿ok? Cuando el segmento introductorio es una frase, el resultado, la frase resultante con la pregunta indirecta va a tomar un punto y no el question mark al final. Es decir, cuando tenés esto, I'd like to know, If the quality control step should be repeated. Y acá. Ok. Cuando es una frase. Pues normal, cuando estás. Ajá. So, ya no sería una pregunta, sino que solo es como un comentario que le hace a alguien. Por eso es igual que en el español. Es una pregunta indirecta. Es diferente que yo le diga a René, René, présteme 20 dólares. A que le diga, hey René, fíjese que... Me preguntaba si de casualidad no sabrá quién me pueda prestar 20 dólares. De ahí de su trabajo. Yo no conozco a nadie, solo a usted, pero me preguntaba porque les acaban de pagar. Entonces me preguntaba si tal vez conoce a alguien que me presta 20 dólares. Bien, indirecto. ¿eh? <ríe> no conozco a nadie, pero... <ríe> eh, sí, me acordé de usted porque me contaron que ahí pagaban hoy. Imagínate. Y es en serio, René. <ríe> ok. ¿Ya? <risa> ¿Creen que he entendido? Más o menos. Pero... Entonces, ese es el punto, ¿ok? Bien, ya suena a una regular sentence, como dice Alexander. Ok. Ojo con eso, no llevo un signo de interrogación al final. Now, dice, when the introductory, introductory segment is a question... The resulting statement with the internet question will take a question mark at the end. Ok. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? ¿Alguien me puede decir qué notan de diferente entre esto y esto? In the second, the subject, I, there is a subject at the beginning of the sentence. Always. Okay. Um, what is the question? It's more direct. The question is direct. 
to a person. Yes. Mm -hmm. For Come example, on. the second is Marta, and That's the right. one is indirect. Mm -hmm. One is a phrase on the left, and the second one is a question. That's right. Aquí en la segunda le estás pidiendo a alguien que te haga un favor de decirle a una tercera persona. Se vuelve aún más indirecta el asunto, más indirecto el asunto. Okay? Lo, el ejemplo que le ponía a Ada con Johnny, lo mismo, me, me podría preguntar. ¿Ya? Good. Same as in Spanish. So let's get together and let's resolve these exercises, okay? Use the introductory phrases and questions to write indirect yes, no questions. Compare answers with a partner and you have six, okay? I believe this is on your platform on um, Inglés Corporativo, okay? So it's part of your exercises of the tests, okay? Let's do this together, but please have a conversation with your classmates. Tell them, hey, nah, man, come on. It's not the way. Oh yeah, that's it, right, thank you. Let's go. Isa. Can you tell me? Can you tell me the machinery? Okay. Use the phrase, the, phrase, uh, the introductory phrase, no? I'm not sure, but I may, I think that it's, um, may I wonder if the machinery could perform this process? Can you tell me the machinery capable of performing these processes? Hmm. Hmm. What do you think, ladies? Hmm. Hey, come on, help me. Can you tell me if the machinery is capable of performing the process? What do you Thank think, you. Alan? What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> come on, tell us. <laughs> I, I the, the first one, I think that is like, uh, uh, and I wonder if the machinery I wonder if the machinery can perform this process, but I don't know sure if I'm I'm right with the verb because it says capable, 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 capable. I don't use that word. It's, it's I, I I already see it in some books, but I don't use it frequently. I use can or cool instead of, but. I'm not sure, teacher. Is it right the way that I'm, I'm saying? Capable? No, no, no. The the complete sentence. I want. Uh, I wonder if the machinery capable of performing this process. I Man. Oh, okay. Can you tell me if? Okay. I we need to use if if machinery. If the machine, ma machinery. machinery, if the ma machinery, I'm sorry, if, oh. can you tell me if the machinery yes. is capable of performing these processes? Okay. Is if and if the machinery is capable of performing these processes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd like to know whether. 
Based on this information, uh -huh. the third one is going to be like, um, do you know if... Is the schedule and production contract for complete? Yeah. We must... When this is... Uh, move. Based on the we information have... given before, um, the punctuation said when introduction introductory segment is a question, the resulting statement will be will, with direct question will take a take a question mark at the end. Mark at the end. So in this case, all in the first, can you tell me if as well? The first Instead one is, can you tell, you can me, tell me Or you can tell me. If, yeah. You can tell me if. Are, are we right, teacher? Are we right? Teacher is kind of difficult. Why? <laughs> I'm trying to bring information Remember that. Remember that, that all of the examples included the if, the condition. Yes, all the examples. Yeah. Right. So can you tell me if the machinery is capable of performing these processes? Ah, and the second one is like, I would like to know if the manufacturer okay. will buy. Correct. If the manufacturer will buy the new new machinery to produce our orders on time and it's not a question yeah correct you got it so we have to play with the auxiliary hmm in these examples okay okay the third did you know if the schedule are hmm. no. or, hmm. What about this condition? This is my question. Do you know if uh, the schedule is no no match? Why not? Do you know if the schedule um, yeah. somewhere? Do you know are uh, is are the schedule? I mean, well, okay. Do you know if the schedule yeah. and production control forms are, are complete? Are complete. Are complete. Uh, yeah. yeah. We move the rare. I will say are completed. Yes. Are the schedule and production control forms completed? Aún en el ejemplo, eso debería estar en pasado. Están completadas. Passive voice, voz pasiva. Okay, keep it up, keep it up. Okay. Any idea? What do we got? What do we got? <laughs> How you doing? But uh, we're we're not sure on the 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 number three. Do you know if? The schedule uh, and production control forms with question mark are completed. Yeah, it's a question. Ah, oh, okay. Porque le está diciendo okay. alguien. Alguien. Uh, Tal vez de similar, similar with number five. Do you have any idea if we go for a small batch? Oh, if we will go. If we will go for a small batch or mass production. Yep, that's a question too. Okay, question. And the last one. Oh, come on. Then I was. <laughs> it's, it's mm -hmm. He was wondering. Do you. I was wondering. What? If... 
Eso. Oh. I was wondering if you received the quote. The mm. raw material providers. Mm. It was. The raw, raw material. Uh, raw material. Wondering. Will we okay? Will we okay? You're almost done. Is the reading conversation what raw material provider provider in the platform for a puntito no agarra or for un espacio? <laughs> yeah, complicated that plan. Platform. Okay. Yeah, the chair. Wait, but. Can you check the answer? We, we are checking. What is the correct pronunciation? Answers or answers? Answers. 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 Can you check our answers? Can you check our answers? Answers. A small batch is a como the lote pequeño. Yeah, small batch. Small batch. It's correct. Okay, let's go back. Let's see the answers. Take a screenshot. Yes. Yeah. I we did it. Okay, before we move on, I forgot to check this. Monday, September 13th, William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Please stay for 10 minutes if you don't mind. He's gone away. I think he's gone, right? William? Yeah. <gasps> no, he's here. <laughs> okay, good. Hey. Let's answer this together. So will you stay? You have to stay, right? Yeah. Just 10 minutes, don't worry. Okay, let's get an answer on these things. Okay. Can you tell me? Mm -hmm. If the machinery is capable. I don't think I can actually copy that. Okay. I'm going to have to write. Okay. Can you tell me oh, oh, if uh -huh, mm -hmm. the machinery is capable? Capable. Mm -hmm. Now, question, do I need or not to add a question mark at the end? Yes. 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 Why? Because he's asking is we be capable of performing these processes. It has the form of a question, yes. That is correct. Okay, yeah. So can you tell me it is right? Okay. Okay, number two. Mm -hmm. Yes, Rene? Or Johnny, who's talking? No. Yes. Yes, uh huh. Yes. The manufacturer 
Uh, will buy a trainer. Very good. Or order on time. Ah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Should I add, add a question mark or not? No. Oh. What? No. 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 So I no. add a period. No. So I add a period. Yeah. Okay. What about number three? Everybody was hesitant. Everybody was doubting on this one. So what's the answer? Hello? What's the answer on, num on number three? Do you know if the schedule and production control forms complete? Are complete. Are complete. Are con, are Ojo, acá les decía que desde, desde el ejemplo estaba mal esto. Tiene que ser completed, ¿eh? Uh -huh. Okay, so question mark or no question mark? Yeah, question mark. Question mark. Question mark, why? It's hot from... Question. Yeah, it starts with a question form. Do you know? Okay. Number four, Adita. I like to. I like to find out if the operation. I like to find out if. If. The pre operation um, operation plan describe the process. Does plan describe the process? Describes. Ajá, y eso quería que notaran. Se conjuga el verbo en el tiempo gramatical al pasarlo de esta forma. ¿eh? Describes. Process. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> because I have realized that some native speaker use does. For example, the, the operation plan does describe. Yes. No es native, Alexander. We can okay. use. Puedes decirlo, pero es como preguntar si sí, si sí describe. I like to find out if the operation plan does describe the process parameters. If it does describe them. Um, I want to know if you do take a shower every day. I want to know if you do take a shower every como day. Para reafirmarlo, si es como, quiero saber si tú, si tú sí te bañas. Quiero saber si tú sí te bañas. Right? I want to find out if you do take a shower. Ojo con eso, la entonación en el exterior. Muy importante. I'd like to find out if the operation plan describes the process parameters. And again, this is not a question, right? Because of the way it starts. Let's go. Number five. Do you have, uh, you have any, any idea? idea? Sorry. No. Nope. <laughs> uh huh. Do you have any idea? If mm. we will. We will. Mm. Correct. Well, no. Yeah. Okay, question mark or no question mark? Yeah. 
Yep. Yeah. Okay. That's right. And last one. I was wondering if you received. What? Received. Otra vez. A ver, espérame, Alexander. Uh -huh. Johnny, ¿qué onda? I was wondering if you. Received. Sí, Con D al final, va, Johnny. If you okay. received. Yeah. yeah, you have to conjugate the verb. Right. I was wondering if you received the quotes. Received. Yeah. Right. Of the raw material providers. Sure. Now here, question mark or no question mark? No. No question. No question mark. Just don't forget the period. And there you go. Those are indirect questions, indirect questions without necessarily being a question. Okay. Any questions? Any questions? No. Okay. No. no. Would like to know if you have any questions. <laughs> okay, it's your turn. We only have what five minutes so far, so four minutes. Y como vamos con la plataforma, ya pasamos el midterm exam la semana pasada. Ah, René. <laughs> que las hace, se acuerda. Ok. Ajá. <laughs> no, se, no se les olvide, tenemos que haber terminado hasta el midterm el viernes pasado, right? So, let's go to your chat in Zoom. Show me what you got. Quiero que seas bien open-minded ahorita, eh, como te digo, creativo, ok, imagínate una pregunta indirecta que puede hasta sonar pesada, por ejemplo, lo que el ejemplo que le daba René, me, me prestas 20 dólares, ¿cómo sería una manera indirecta de hacerlo? Eh, otra, ¿envías este email por mí? ¿Envías este email por mí? Uh -huh. Ok, go to the chat. Vamos al, al chat de Zoom, give me an example, just one, each one. Solo un ejemplo cada uno. Perdón, se me han notado raro, pero sí me siento raro. Siento que hay mucho aire por todos lados. Fue horrible cortarme la melena. Let's see. Would you mind passing me the salt? Would you mind passing me the salt? Would you mind passing me the salt? Hmm. Instead of pasame la sal, would you mind passing me the salt? Yeah. Hmm. Suena raro, Alexander. Sounds really weird. Would you mind passing me the salt? Okay. Someone else? Right. Lending me. Handing me. Would you mind handing me the salt? Suena mejor, Alexander. Would you mind handing me the salt? Could you go to the bank with me? Yeah. Hmm. ¿Y cómo sería la, la, la directa? Go to the bank with me. Eso ya sería un, una orden. Hmm. Do you want to go? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I was wondering if you can let me your notes. Let me or lend me. Lend, lend me. Lend me. Yeah. Yeah. Lend, lend me. Your notes. Could you go to bank? Uh huh. I wonder if you took my money yesterday. <laughs> Did you take my money yesterday? Did you take my money yesterday? I wonder. Take my money yesterday. Okay. Very good. I'm going to buy a pasada de Stui. If I am, where's my money? Where's my money? Fernando se <laughs> I wonder if you play all your bills. If you pay all your bills, I wonder if you pay all your bills. Do you pay all your bills? I wonder if you pay all your bills. Okay. Would you mind? <laughs> eh, um, Johnny, tu cobra, verdad? Andas en cobro, verdad? <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> 
Would you might say yes? Te toca un gringo cobrarle un gringo alguna vez. Excuse me, I wonder if you pay all your bills. <laughs> I'm here for my money. Okay. Would you mind to change, swap, switch your day off? Perfect. Would you mind to change, swap, switch your day off? Any of them, yeah. Could you tell Hector to pay me the money I lent him? Excellent. Good, Sandra. That sounds really nice. Alan, may I ask if you could go with me to the bank? Podría preguntarle si, podría preguntarte si podrías ir conmigo al banco. Okay, wow. Yeah, extremely polite. Uh, quiero ir a robar el banco. Yeah, may I ask if you, oh, yeah, makes sense. I was wondering if we travel to USA tomorrow. Uh, I felt, uh, Alexander, I was wondering if we could travel to the USA tomorrow. Yeah. Would you cook for me? Okay. Would you cook for me? I wonder if you can cook. Perfect. There you go, guys. Very good. Continue practicing. This topic is very useful and it's a very good way of sounding very polite. Okay, I'm staying with William. Ada Susena Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Good night, Adita. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Night. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. Good night. Good night. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Good night. Good night. Claudia Maricela Solano Crespin. Elvin Alcides Eguizabal Martínez. Present, good night. Good night. Fátima y Fegenia López Ramos. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Good night. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present, good night. Good night. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present, good night. Good night, Johnny. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Juan Marcos Guzmán, Carla Yanet, Amaya Herrera. Present teacher. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. Night, René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present. Good night. Sir. Good night. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Good night. Good night. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Good night. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Good night. Good night. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Good night. Good night. Rina Marisabel Alvarez de Chavez. Was it here today? Hey. Wow. Everybody's gone. Okay, William. How are you? I'm good. Thanks. He notado que a veces tenés, habla bastante, no te equivocas, hace los ejercicios súper rápido y siento a veces como que hay alguien en la par tuya diciéndote que lo que tienes que hacer, te lo juro. Dices como okay. que alguien está soplando. <risa> ¿Por qué? Es como, like, what? Se sentí raro. Ok, what's up? ¿Es esta la primera vez? ¿Es la primera vez? No, ya no hemos estado juntos no. en otra sesión. Ya. Yeah. Sí, segunda. Sí, segunda en este módulo, no. No, este módulo oh, es la primera no, vez. No, no. Ajá, primera, primera, sí. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Y única, según veo en el calendario. Ok. So, ok, antes te preguntaba que si habías aprendido inglés en otro lado, si um, estábamos haciendo algo aparte de, la, de las clases para ir mejorando. So you tell me, ¿cómo va eso? Ay, voy, teacher, la verdad, pero este, me cuesta igual por lo, el, el tiempo. Por lo mismo, de que, que estamos cansados y el trabajo, el estrés. Pero sí, yo siempre trato. Uh -huh. Igual me gusta un montón, entonces siempre trato como que de estar ahí aprendiendo. Okay. Ajá, aunque sea, no sean de los temas, pues, pero igual, o sea, como siempre relacionado a inglés, entonces ahí soy como que. Yeah, that's very uh -huh. important. Ok, let's do a Quick evaluation, okay, really quick, okay. Um, hmm. Vamos a de abajo. Tell me about yourself. 
Okay. Go ahead. Okay. My name is William. Um, I am 30 years old. Okay. Um, I was born on in Metapan. Uh, I now I live here in San Salvador with my sister. Uh, I work in uh, I don't know how to say diet workshop. I don't workshop, know. yes, workshop. Okay, workshop as a um, mechanic. No, no, as a, in administration. Oh, in administration. administration. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, uh, my parents uh, live, oh, sorry, my parents live in Metaban, and I am, I graduate as civil engineer, and I don't know, teacher. <laughs> okay, great job. I graduated as a civil engineer. I graduated as a civil engineer. Okay, good job. Very good. What's the workshop about? Do you repair all kinds of cars in the workshop? No, it is not about cars. It is mm. about the maintenance by industry. In, oh, equipment maintenance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Heavyweight equipment? Like heavyweight? Uh, Industrial in general. In industrial, oh, industrial equipment. So, like, oh, how do you call this thing? I can't believe I can forgot this name. Una banda sin fin, but there is a name for it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that that thing. So you give support. You you uh, repair. Well, your company repairs all of this equipment. Yeah. Okay. We uh, we fix them or we create the product. Okay. Conveyor belt. Conveyor belt. Okay. Wow. Long time without saying these words. Okay. Good. So, what did you do yesterday? Let's go with the past. Yesterday. Okay. Mm. I get get up. I got up at six uh, thirty, and then I I having lunch mm -hmm. at eight eight a.m. <clears throat> then I went to work. And I start start work at eight a.m. Uh, then I replied some emails and made some calls. I typed some reports and have a meeting had a meeting with my boss. And then I could to the hardware and bought some things. I I don't know, I was quoting the whole afternoon. And then I came back home at 5, 5.30. And then I having dinner and saw a movie. And then I, um, I don't know. Ah, I ate pupusas for dinner. Excellent. Okay, I ate pupusas. I had pupusas for dinner. I had pupusas for dinner. Let's see. Repeat. Six thirty. Six thirty. 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 Again. Thirty. Uh huh. Six thirty. Six thirty a.m. I having lunch. I have lunch, mm. but at 8 a.m. I had breakfast. Okay. 
Sí, me quedé ahí como que. Well, I had breakfast at 8 a.m. I started. Started. I started working. I working. started to work. I started working at. Da, da, da. Okay, I replied some emails. I replied to some emails. Yeah. Okay, I cooked to the warehouse. It sounded like cooked. What was it? ¿Qué quería decir? I cooked. I the... went. I went. So, <gasps> no, really. I went to the warehouse. <laughs> Such an going. Oh my God. Really? <laughs> no, Mr. Meme. <laughs> No, no, I don't know. Okay, then I'm seeing a professor visiting the alumno. He's in coma, connected to the machines. And he says to the alumno, Professor, is that the past of go is go it? And the professor says, and he disconnects the machine. That's so oh, funny. Wait. Come on, went. I went to the warehouse. Okay, yeah. and but. Pronunciation, but. But. Mm -hmm. Si vas a publicar un artículo después de este verbo en pasado, suena chivo decir bora. En bora. Coke. Ah, okay. En bora. Ok. Ajá. Uh -huh. And bought some things. And bought some things. And bought some things. Go. Bought some things. Uh -huh. Then I have a dinner. Then I have dinner. Have dinner. Uh -huh. Yes. Then I have dinner. Ok. Get ready for tomorrow. Mañana vamos a abrir con el pasado simple. No. Preguntas nada más. ¿Te parece bien esa metodología? Darles un par de minutos para que practiquen lo anterior. Sí. Está okay. Sí, porque es que se les olvida, men. Si no lo están practicando. Sí, la verdad que sí. Ok. So, y cualquier cosa, ahí estoy a la orden. Si tienes alguna duda o querés algún consejo, avísame. Ahí estoy en el chat. ¿Verdad? Sobre qué, qué podríamos hacer para ir mejorando eso. Ahorita que ya identificamos el presente simple. Aún. Está donde aquí les de todos en el grupo. So, let's work on it, ¿ok? Gracias, teacher. Good night. Take care. Night.